Hey, y'all. <laughs> Funny, at first I just saw Jennifer. I was like, I hope somebody else comes. And there's Jillian. <laughs> oh, it's good to see everybody. Oh. Yeah. It's been raining so much here. I don't know if it's raining there, but the the slugs are out. <laughs> They're having themselves a ball right now. So um a little disclaimer. The the weather has been kind of shady here. So it's sunny right now. I'm hoping it stays sunny. <laughs> if it doesn't stay sunny and you see me quickly scurrying from my computer, have no fear. <laughs> I'll just go inside. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's been so, so rainy. So um, yeah, and I wanted to teach outside today because this will be my last outside class. I'm heading back to Brooklyn, see how I fare in the city again. <laughs> but who knows, maybe I'll, you know, come back to the pond again. But welcome to class and we'll get started. So find yourself a comfortable seat. You can sit up on a block blanket or directly on your mat, whatever feels good for you today. Here. And then you can bring your hands to your knees or to your lap and close your eyes and start to settle yourself in. Relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the face. Really feeling your seat connecting to the earth. Letting go of anything that might have been happening before class. Letting go of anything you might have to do following. Bring yourself into the room, into your body, into your center. Then starting to focus on your breath. Noticing where you're feeling the breath this morning. You might be feeling it in your belly or in your back, maybe at the side ribs. You might be feeling it in the chest, maybe at the shoulders, the tip of the nose, or top of the lip. Wherever you're feeling the breath this morning, just taking this time to notice the breath. Just notice where you're feeling that rise and fall of the breath. Not making any judgments, just noticing. And we'll just take a few moments here being with the breath, noticing, bringing yourself into your center. Then bringing the palms together in front of the heart into prayer position, Anjali Mudra. Palms together, thumbs at the sternum. We'll take a few deep breaths together here in through the nose and out through the nose. So taking a nice deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. <clears throat> inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. We'll take one more deep breath in and begin class with one sound of OM. Taking a nice deep breath in. And you can relax the hands down to the knees to the thighs. And then slowly dropping the chin to the chest. Gonna inhale the head and neck up around to the right. Inhale, rolling all the way back. Exhale, rounding the head back down, chin to chest. Again, inhale. 
rounding it up. And exhale, rolling head back down. And just continuing at your own pace, relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the face. And next time the chin reaches the chest, you can reverse the circles. Inhale up in the opposite direction. Exhale, rounding the head back down, chin to chest. And again, just continuing at your own pace. Feeling that stretch in the neck. And next time, chin reaches the chest, just holding it there for a moment. And then inhale, bringing the head back up to center, and you can slowly open the eyes, not already open. And then inhale, bringing both arms up. And exhale, taking a lean over to the right side, just taking a nice side stretch here, feeling like the ribs are separating. Breathing here, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale, inhale, bring both arms up. And exhale, taking the lean over to the opposite side. And really feeling the, like the ribs are separating. Breathe, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale, inhale, bring both arms up. And exhale, take a twist to the right. Bring hand to knee, tempt the fingers behind you. Inhale, lift a little taller in the spine. Exhale, twist deeper, looking over the back shoulder. Breathing here, inhale. And exhale, inhale. And exhale, inhale. And exhale, one more inhale. And exhale, inhale, bring both arms up. And exhale, taking the twist to the opposite side. Again, hands to knees, tap the fingers behind you. Inhale, lift a little taller in the spine. Exhale. Just deeper looking over the back shoulder. Breathing here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Bring both arms up. And exhale. Folding yourself down the middle. Just taking a nice easy forward fold. Relax the head, neck, and shoulders. Breathing here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, inhale, and exhale, one more inhale, and exhale, slowly rolling yourself back up to six, beautiful. And if you're sitting on a blanket or block, you can come off of it, you can come onto all four, on your hands and knees. Always, if you need a blanket under the knees, if you have sensitive knees, you can use a blanket. You're going to spread the fingers nice and wide, really feeling the whole palm of the hand connecting to the earth. Shoulders and wrists in a nice line, hips and knees also in a nice line. From here, inhale, bring the head up, tailbone up, arch your back. Exhale, round the back, tuck the tailbone, drop the hips. Again, inhale, head up, tailbone up, arch. And exhale. And just continuing at your own pace. Do a few rounds of cat and cow. Opening up the spine, preparing for practice. And next time you exhale, just bringing yourself back to a neutral spine. And you're going to reach the right leg out behind you. Again, just flex the foot, square the hips, engage the abdominals, finding your balance on that one knee. And you can stay right here balanced or lifting up the opposite hand, palm facing toward the wall. Breathe here. Inhale. And exhale. 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 One more inhale. And exhale. Relax the hand. Relax the knee. 
Find your neutral spine <clears throat> one more time. And then reaching the opposite leg out behind you. Again, flex the foot, square the hips. And then finding your balance and lifting up the opposite hand. Breathing here. Inhale and exhale. 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 One more inhale and exhale. Relax the hands. Relax the knee, finding the neutral spine one more time. And lifting up the right knee, just making hip circles to the hip, making their circles as big or small as you need to. And whenever you're ready, you can reverse the circles. And releasing that knee back down to the ground, lifting up the opposite knee, making those circles. <clears throat> And reversing the circles. And relaxing that knee down to the ground. Bringing the hands about five or six inches more in front of you, making hip circles with both the hips. And whenever you're ready, you can reverse the circles. And then bringing the hands back to a neutral spine. Again, just spreading the fingers nice and wide. Make sure you can see the mat between the fingers. Shoulders and wrists in a nice line. Hips and knees in a nice line. Tuck the toes, lift the hips. Press back. But now we're facing dog. So here in this first down dog of the day, if you need to bend the knees slightly, you can bend the knees. You can pedal the feet. And shake your head, yes, no. Again, just finding that space between the shoulders and the ears. And then take your time lifting the right leg up to the sky, taking a nice three-legged dog. Nice square hip to start. And then you can open up that hip, bend the knee of the leg that's in the sky. And relaxing the feet back down to the ground, or the foot rather. And then lifting up that opposite leg, taking a nice three-legged dog, keeping the hip nice and square to start. And then opening up that hip. Beautiful. And relaxing that foot back down to the ground, taking a couple more breaths here in this first down dog of the day. And then take your time. Walk your feet to your hands. Come to hang over in Uttanasana forward fold. So here in this first forward fold of the day, you can bend the knees slightly if you need to. You can hold on to opposite elbows if you like. Gonna shake the head, yes, no. Again, finding that space between the shoulders and the ears. Breathe in here, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, 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 one more inhale. And exhale, beautiful. If you're holding on to the opposite elbows, you can release the hands. And then slowly rolling yourself up, one vertebra at a time. Letting the head be the last thing to come up. Beautiful. So bringing the feet about hip distance apart, always you can find hip distance by finding the abdominal bone, the bony bone in front of the hip. Looking down at the feet, fists and feet should be in a nice line. Also feet parallel to each other. And you can relax the hands if you have them in fists. And then lift the toes. And do your best to release the toes down one toe at a time. You wanna just try and see a little bit of the mat between the toes if that's not happening today. You do still want to feel the energetic pull in the feet, like you have roots coming out of the bottoms of the feet. So as the energy is going down, everything else is lifting up. Feel that lift in the thighs. Feel that lift in the abdominals coming up and in, tailbone tucking under. And then start to feel like you're growing out of the side ribs, side body, getting a little longer and taller. And then lift the shoulders up. 
Roll them down the back. One more time. Lift the shoulders up. Roll them down the back. Beautiful. Keeping the shoulders rolled down the back. Inhale. Bring both arms up. Palms facing each other. Beautiful. One more time. Just relax the shoulders. Breathing here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Taking one more deep breath in. Exhale. Bend the knees. Sit back. Utkatasana. Chair pose. Breathing here. Inhale. And exhale. 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 One more inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Inhale. Come all the way up to stand. Exhale. Release the right arm down by your side. Taking a nice side stretch here. Breathing here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And one more inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Inhale. Bring both arms up. Exhale over to the opposite side. Breathing here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Inhale. Bring both arms up. One more time. Exhale. Sit back. Ujkatasana. Chair pose. Breathing here. Inhale. And exhale. 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 One more inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Inhale. Come all the way up to stand. Exhale. Relax the hands down by your side. You can shake out the shoulders if you need to. And if you have blocks and you think you need them at the front of the mat, you can bring them to the front of your mat. I'm going to inhale. Bring both arms up. Exhale. Folding yourself forward. Inhale. Up to flat back. Hands to shift. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Stepping that right foot back. Coming into your low lunge. Again, if you need blocks for your low lunge, you can use your blocks at whatever height feels good. Or you can tent the fingers. Pressing that back heel toward the floor, thigh toward the sky. Breathing here. Inhale. And exhale. 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 Inhale. And exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more inhale, and exhale. Beautiful, bring the knee down, untuck the toe. You're gonna bring the hands on the inside of the foot. You're gonna come all the way down onto the forearms, or you can use a block at whatever height feels good for you, or two blocks, whatever you need for your elbows today. And breathe in here, inhale, and exhale, inhale. And exhale, inhale, 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 and exhale, one more inhale, and exhale, beautiful. Coming all the way up, you can move your blocks if you're using them. You're going to tuck the toe, step the foot back, coming into downward facing dog. And then coming forward to plank, holding in plank, breathing here, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, one more inhale, and exhale, bring the knees down, spread them wide, sit back, child pose. And just taking a couple breaths here in your child pose. And then pressing yourself back up to downward facing dog. And take your time, walk your feet to your hands. Come to hang over in Uttanasana forward fold. 
Inhale, up to flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, swan dive all the way up the stand. Exhale, hands of prayer in front of the heart. And one more time. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, up to the flat back, hands to shin. Exhale, fold. Beautiful. This time, stepping that left foot back, coming into your low lunge. Again, if you need blocks for your low lunge, please use them at whatever height feels good. Pressing that back heel towards the floor, thigh towards the sky. Breathing here. Inhale. And exhale. 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 One more inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Bringing the knee down. Untuck the toe. Bringing the hands to the inside of the foot one more time. Coming all the way down onto the forearms. And again, if you need a block, you can use your block at whatever height feels good. Breathing here. Inhale. And exhale. 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 One more inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. And you can move the block if you were using it. And bringing hands on either side of the foot. Tuck the toe. Step back. Downward facing dog. And one more time, come forward to plank, hold and plank. Breathe here, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more inhale, and exhale. Bring the knees down, spread them wide, sit back, child's pose. And just taking a few more breaths here in child's pose. And then pressing yourself back up to downward facing dog. And again, take your time, walk your feet to your hands. Come to hang over at Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, up to flat back, hands to shins. Exhale, fold. Inhale, swan dive all the way up to stand. Exhale, hands of the prayer in front of the heart. And one more time, coming to the front of your mat. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up to flat back, hands to shin. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stepping the right foot back. Turn that back foot to 45 degrees. Come up for your warrior two. Right away, flip the palms. Lean back, peaceful warrior. Breathing here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more inhale, and exhale. Beautiful. Coming forward, bring your forearm to the thigh. Sweep the arm up over the ear, palm facing toward the ground. And really lift up strong out of the shoulder. If you're sinking down, really lift up nice and strong. Breathing here, inhale. And exhale, inhale, 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 and exhale, one more inhale, and exhale, beautiful, coming all the way up to warrior two, this time staying right there. Making sure you can see the big toe on the inside of the front knee. Nice, tall spine looking out over the front fingers. Breathing here. Inhale. And exhale. 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 One more inhale. And exhale, beautiful cart, roll the hands down, step back, downward facing dog. 
So you can stay right here in down dog, or you can move to the vinyasa of your choice, coming forward to plank. You can lower knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Up dog or baby cobra. And meeting back in downward facing dog. Just taking a breath here. And lifting the right leg up into the sky, stepping it forward in between the hands, turning the back foot to 45 degrees, come up for your warrior two on the other side. Right away, you're gonna flip the palms, lean back, peaceful warrior. Breathing here, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more inhale, and exhale. Beautiful, coming forward. Bring the forearm to the thigh, sweep the arm up over the ear, palm facing toward the ground. Really lifting up nice and strong out of the shoulder. Breathing here, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale, 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 inhale, and exhale. One more inhale, and exhale. Beautiful. Coming all the way up for warrior two. One more time. Breathing here. Inhale, and exhale, inhale. And exhale, inhale, 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 and exhale, one more inhale, and exhale, beautiful. Heart, move the hands down, step back, downward facing dog. And again, you can stay right here in down dog or move into the vinyasa of your choice, coming forward to plank. You can lower knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Up dog or baby cobra. And meeting back in downward facing dog. And lifting the left leg up into the sky, stepping it forward in between the hands. Bringing the back foot to meet the front foot and folding yourself forward. Inhale, up to flat back, hands to shins. Exhale, fold. Inhale, swan dive all the way up to stand. Exhale, hands into prayer, internal heart. Beautiful, one more. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up to flat back, hands to shins. Exhale, fold. Inhale. Stepping the right foot back one more time. Opening up for warrior two. And then right away, you're gonna straighten that front knee. And then lean, lean, lean toward the wall and then come down for your triangle pose. Again, for triangle, if you need a block, you can use a block at whatever height feels good for you or bring your hand to your shin or ankle or to the ground. Breathing here, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more inhale, and exhale. Beautiful. Coming all the way up. Keep that front knee straight. Flip the palms. Lean back. Reverse triangle. Breathing here. Inhale, and exhale, inhale. And exhale, inhale, 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 and exhale. One more inhale, and exhale. Beautiful. Coming forward, bend the knee one more time for warrior two. Nice tall spine, looking out over the front fingers. Breathe, inhale, and exhale, inhale. And exhale, inhale, 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 and exhale. One more inhale, 
and exhale. Beautiful. Heart will the hands down. Step back, downward facing dog. And again, you can stay right here in down dog or moving through the vinyasa, coming forward to plank. Glory, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Up dog or baby cobra. And meeting back in downward facing dog. And lifting the right leg up into the sky, stepping it forward in between the hands, turning the back foot to 45 degrees, come up for your warrior two on the other side. Again, straightening that front knee and then lean, lean, lean toward the wall, let the back hip come out and then come down for your triangle pose. Breathing here, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale. Inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more inhale, and exhale. Beautiful. Coming all the way up, keeping that front knee straight. Flip the palms up, lean back, reverse triangle. Breathing here, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale. And exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more inhale, and exhale. Beautiful. Coming forward, bend the front knee one more time for warrior two. Looking out over the front fingers, like all spine. Breathing here, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale. And exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more inhale, and exhale. Beautiful. Cartwheel the hands down. Step back, downward facing dog. And again, you can stay right here in down dog, or you can move through vinyasa, coming forward to plank. Flooring knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Up dog, or baby cobra. And meeting back in downward facing dog. And then bring the knees down, spread them wide, sit back in a child's pose. Just taking your time here in child's pose. Relax, letting go. Anything that might be rolling around in the mind, just give it to the ground, give it to the earth. And we'll just take a few more breaths here in this down dog. I said down dog, I meant child pose. <laughs> and then press yourself back up to downward facing dog. <laughs> and lifting the left leg up to the sky, stepping it forward in between the hands, bringing the back foot to meet the front foot and folding yourself forward. Inhale, come up to a flat back. <clears throat> Exhale, fold. Inhale, swan back all the way up to stand. Exhale, hands into prayer in front of the heart. You can close your eyes here with hands in prayer. Just take a moment to breathe and feel. And then you can slowly open the eyes and relax the hands down by your side. So if you have blocks, you can um, bring them towards the front of the mat if they're not already there. And we're gonna move into tree pose. So always three options for tree. You can bring your heel right above the ankle. Should you see my feet? Or you can have your foot at the shin or calf, or you can have your foot all the way up into the thigh. So wherever you are today, it's beautiful. So before we go into the pose, just bringing the feet hip distance apart, 
You're just gonna rock yourself side to side, just feeling the weight on either foot. And then you're gonna bring all your weight onto your right leg, right foot, really feeling that nice, strong standing leg. And then you're gonna find your tree. So again, you can have heel right above the ankle. You can bring your foot to your shin or your calf or bringing the foot all the way up into the thigh. And once you've found your tree, just bringing the palms together in front of the heart. Again, keeping that nice tall spine. Still feel like you have a string coming up out of the top of the head. So you can stay right here. You don't have to go any further. Or you can open up the branches. So just breathing here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, 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 one more inhale. And exhale, beautiful. Bringing the palms back together in front of the heart. And then just releasing the foot from the leg. You're gonna bend the knee, keep that foot flexed. If you need a little more stability, you can have one toe on the ground. Either way, and then opening up the arms for your crane. Breathing here, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more inhale, and exhale, beautiful. Bringing the palms back together in front of the heart. You're gonna sweep the leg behind you, and then reach down for the ground or for your blocks for your standing split. So again, you can have your hands all the way at the ground, or you can have your hands on blocks. Again, not about how high the leg goes, more about keeping the hips nice and square. Breathing here, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more inhale, and exhale, beautiful. Then we're gonna bring all our weight into our right hand, right foot, and we turn to the side for our half moon. Breathing here, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more inhale, and exhale. Beautiful, bring everything back down to the ground, and you can slowly roll yourself back up to stand. Beautiful, and if you need to shake out your foot, or shake out the leg, you can do that. And one more time, bringing the feet hip distance apart. Gonna rock yourself side to side. And then bringing all of the weight onto the left leg, left foot. Nice strong standing leg, nice tall spine. Finding your tree on this side. So again, might be that ankle right over the heel. Foot at the shin or the calf, or foot all the way up into the thigh. And once you've found your tree, bringing the palms together in front of the heart. Beautiful. So you can stay right here with palms in front of the heart, or you can open up the branches. Breathing here, inhale, and exhale, 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 inhale. And exhale, one more inhale, and exhale, beautiful. Bringing the palms back together in front of the heart, and then releasing the foot from the leg. Again, you can have, bring the knee up, flex the foot, or have one toe on the ground if you need a little bit more stability. And then opening up the arms for your crane. Breathing here, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, one more inhale, and exhale, beautiful. Bringing the palms back together in front of the heart, sweeping that leg behind you, coming all the way down for your standing split. Again, you can bring hands to blocks or hands to the ground, whatever is working for you today. Breathing here, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more inhale, and exhale, beautiful. Bring all your weight onto the left hand, left foot, Opening up for your half moon. Breathing here, inhale, and exhale, 
Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Bring everything back down to the ground. And then slowly rolling yourself up. One vertebra at a time. Again, if you need to shake out the foot. Shake out the leg. Do so. And one more time. Inhale. Bring both arms up. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Up to flat back. Hands to shin. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Stepping both feet back to downward facing dog. And then bring the knees down. Spread them wide. Sit back in a child's pose. Just taking your time here in child's pose. Relax. Letting go. Anything that might be rolling around in the mind, just give it to the ground, give it to the earth. And we'll just take a couple more breaths in your child's pose. And then you can bring yourself back up to sit on your mat. Awesome. So coming to sit, you can sit with your feet straight out or your legs rather straight out in front of you. Going to sit up nice and tall, still feel like you have a string coming up out of the top of the head. And then bringing the right knee in, opening it out to the side, keeping that foot flexed on the outstretched leg. Inhale, bring both arms up. Exhale, folding over that outstretched leg. So if you're not able to touch the toes today, it's okay. Just wherever the hands land is fine. Relax the head, neck, and shoulders. You can have hands on your shin or the ground, knee, wherever you are today. Breathing here, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, one more inhale, and exhale, slowly rolling yourself back up to sit, beautiful, and then inhale, bring both arms up, exhale, take a twist toward the bent knee, bring hand to knee, turn the fingers behind you, inhale, lift a little taller in the spine, exhale, take that back hand, bring it up and over, reaching toward the outstretched leg. Breathing here, inhale, and exhale, 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 one more inhale, and exhale, inhale, coming all the way to sit. Exhale, take the counter twist to the opposite side. And then coming up the center, bringing the knee in, straightening out the leg. And bringing in the opposite knee, opening out to the side. Keeping that foot flex in the outstretched leg. Inhale, bring both arms up. Exhale, folding over the outstretched leg. Again, wherever the hands land is fine, breathe inhale. And exhale. Inhale, and exhale, 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 one more inhale, and exhale, slowly rolling yourself back up to sit, inhale, bring both arms up, exhale, taking a twist toward the bent knee, Hands to knees, touch the fingers behind you. Inhale, look a little taller in the spine. Exhale, bringing that back hand up and over, reaching toward the outstretched leg. Breathing here, inhale, and exhale. 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 Inhale, and exhale, one more inhale, 
And exhale, inhale. Coming all the way up to sit and then taking a counter twist to the opposite side. And then coming up to center, you can bring the knee in, straightening out both the legs. Inhale, bring both arms up. Exhale, folding yourself down the middle. Taking a nice forward fold. Wherever the hands land, again, it's fine if you're not able to touch the toes. Breathing here, inhale. And exhale. 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 One more inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Slowly rolling yourself back. So beautiful. So we're going to take a wide sit so you can just open up the legs. If you have a block, you can grab it. You may or may not need it. But we're going to do uh, just a forward fold down the middle um, with our legs open. And so we're going to hold it for a little while. So if you feel like if you're down, if you're folding yourself forward and you're somebody who can like bring your head to a block and that's something you want to do, you can. Or if you just feel like you need extra support, if you feel like folding all the way down is just a little too much of a stretch. You can always use the block at whatever height feels good for you. Or, again, you can just bring yourself all the way to the ground. But we're going to hold it there for a bit, so I just want you to be as comfortable as possible. So again, just sitting up nice and tall before we fold ourselves forward. And you're going to inhale, bring both arms up, just take a nice stretch, and then bringing yourself forward down the middle. So again, if you feel like you need a little extra support, you can have something under the elbows. You can bring that head to a block if you like, or just come all the way down. So wherever you are, you just want to continue to keep breathing, really feeling the stretch in the inner thighs, keeping the feet flexed um, on the legs. And just nice, easy breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. If you're feeling like, oh, it's kind of easy, you can just go a little deeper. <laughs> and then some of you are like, easy? No. <laughs> I'm really feeling the stretch. And I'm not even all the way down on the ground. You can relax the head and neck. You can just take nice, easy, slow breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. Just continuing to breathe. And just taking a few more breaths in this forward fold. And then taking your time, slowly start to roll yourself up out of your fold. Beautiful. And take your time. You can bring the legs back together. If you like you need to shake them out a little, you can shake them out. Beautiful. And if you're sitting on a blanket, you can move it to the side. It's gonna come down onto your back and hug the knees into the chest. You can rock yourself side to side, up and down, back and forth. Whatever you feel like you need. Beautiful. And then releasing the feet back down to the ground. So we're going to prepare for bridge pose. So always feet on the floor, knees bent. You're going to reach down towards your heels with your middle finger, coming as close to reaching the heels as possible. 
you're not able to reach the heels, of course, okay, just feeling that energetic connection between the heels and the fingertips. So from here, you're gonna inhale, lift the hips up off the ground. You can stay right here, hips lifted, or you can tuck the shoulders under and clasp the hands. Breathing here, inhale, and exhale, 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 inhale, and exhale. One more inhale, and exhale, beautiful. You can unclasp the hands with your clasp, untuck the shoulders, rolling down one vertebra at a time. And we'll just take a pause here. And one more time, reaching down toward the heels with your middle finger, coming as close as possible. And again, inhale, lift the hips up off the ground. Again, so you can stay right here, hips lifted, or you can tuck the shoulders under and clasp the hands. Breathing here, inhale, and exhale, 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 inhale. And exhale, one more inhale, and exhale. You can unclasp the hands with the clasp, untuck the shoulders, rolling down one vertebra at a time. And again, just taking a pause. And last bridge is Yogi's Choice. So you can do the bridge that we just did, or if you'd like to do a restorative bridge, if you have a block or books, you can place it under the sacrum for your restorative bridge. Or if you're somebody that has a full wheel in your practice and you like to do the full wheel, you can. Just be mindful of your surroundings and where you are. So coming into whichever bridge you would like to do for this last bridge. And just remember to keep breathing wherever you are. Again, just taking your time in this final bridge of choice. And just taking a few more breaths in this bridge. And then taking your time, you can start to bring yourself down from whichever bridge you chose. And one more time, whenever you get down, you can hug the uh, knees into the chest. Again, you can rock side to side, up and down, back and forth, giving the spine a little massage. And whenever you're ready, you can rock or bring yourself up to sit on your mat. Beautiful. All right. So we're going to move into pigeon pose. So if you're already familiar with whatever pigeon is best for you, you can move into the pose. If you need to see it again, you can watch me one time. So you can start in down dog, lifting the legs to the sky, sweeping that leg forward. If you feel like you need props under the hip, you can always use a blanket or a block under the hip to give yourself a little bit more stability, but you don't have to. And just taking a nice deep breath and then bringing yourself forward. Again, you can bring your head all the way to the ground. You can Use your hands as a pillow or place a block under the head. And of course, if being in pigeon that way is not comfortable for you, you can always lay on your back, holding onto the back of the knee, flex the feet. Awesome pigeon. So wherever you are, just taking a scan of the body and just noticing any spaces or places that need a little extra breath, love, energy, attention. 
and just sending some breath there. And just relaxing the mind, letting go. And just remember to continue to keep breathing here in your pigeon on the side. Taking a couple more breaths in your pigeon on this side. And then slowly bringing yourself up out of your pigeon on this side. You need to shake out the leg and shake it out. And whenever you're ready, you can move into your pigeon on the other side, taking your time. And once again, once you're into your pose, just taking a nice deep breath, bringing yourself all the way forward, or you might just be recrossing the legs on the opposite side. Wherever you are, you can relax the head. Again, you can bring the head to the ground. Hand, use your hand as a pillow or bring a block under the head. And again, just remember to keep breathing, to scan the body, just noticing any spaces that need a little extra breath opening. And just continuing to keep breathing here. And just taking a few more breaths in your pigeon on the side. And then slowly start to bring yourself up out of your pigeon on the side. And if you need to shake out the leg, you can shake it out. And then you can bring yourself back onto your back. So let's see, you can lay down on your back. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna stay out. It's starting to rain a little bit. But you can come on down to your back. You can bend the knees, keeping the feet on the floor. You can scoot the hips to the left, drop the knees to the right, coming into your spinal twist. You can cactus the arms, tee the arms. Bring a hand to knee, whatever you need to do. And just continuing to keep breathing here. Just continue taking a couple more breaths here in the spinal twist. And then you can bring the knees up to center. <clears throat> Sit the hips to the opposite side, drop the knees down. Again, coming into that spinal twist on the other side. Again, you can cactus the arms, see the arms, you can bring hand to knee.
taking a few more breaths in your twist on this side. And then bring the knees up to center. And the rain kind of threw me off. So we're going to move into our inversion of choice. Choose your own inversion. So if you like, you can, if you have a wall, you can actually use a wall and bring your legs up the wall if that's something that you'd like to do today. If you don't have a wall, but you'd like to do that, you can take your block or your books and then just lift those legs up into the sky for your simulated legs up the wall. Or you can, if you have a shoulder stand in your practice and you like to do that, or headstand or handstand, you can do that. You're just taking your time. And just remember to keep breathing. Remember to keep breathing here. And just taking a few more breaths in whichever inversion you chose. If you or somebody just decided to headstand or shoulder stand, you can start to bring yourself down. If you were headstanding, you can um, come down into a child pose. If you're shoulder standing, you can take a counter fish pose. And if you had your legs at the wall or legs in the air, you can start to bring them down. And then slowly coming off of the block, we're back down to the ground. Beautiful. And then you're just gonna lift the feet up for one last happy baby pose. So you can hold on to the sides of the feet or rock yourself side to side. If you feel like you need one last massage of the spine, And then you can relax the feet down to the ground and start to prepare for a Shavasana. So for Shavasana, as always, if you're feeling a little back tweaky, you can always place a block or a couple of blocks underneath the, um, underneath your knees, just to give your lower back a little bit more stability or ease, I should say. Also, I think it's probably pretty warm, but if you feel like you're a little chilly at all, you can always put on socks or sweater or blanket over you. So as you're coming into your Shavasana, just taking your time Releasing the whole weight of the body, feeling the weight of the body being held by the ground, held by the earth. Releasing any tension you might be feeling in the forehead. Relaxing the eyebrows. Relaxing the eyelids. Let the eyes float easy in the eye sockets. Maybe seeing any tension you might have in the cheeks. Relax the nose. Relax 
releasing any tension you might have in the lips. Let the tongue float easy in the mouth. Relaxing the chin and the jaw. Releasing any tension you might have in the neck. Relax the shoulders, let them rest easy on the mat. Relax the arms and the hands. Relax the chest. Relax the belly and let the breath be easy. Releasing any tension you might have in the hips or the pelvis. Relax the thighs. Relax the knees. Releasing any tension you might have in the shins or the calves. Relaxing the ankles and tops and bottoms of the feet. Just feeling the weight of the whole body being held by the ground, by the earth.
can slowly start to bring yourself back into the room by wiggling your fingers and your toes. You can move your head from side to side and take a nice deep breath. When you're ready, you can turn onto your right side into a fetal position. And when you're ready, you can bring yourself back up to sit. And when you find your seat, just close your eyes. Palms together in front of the heart into prayer position, Anjali Mudra. Palms together, thumbs at the sternum. We'll end class today with one sound of OM, taking a nice deep breath in. bowing forward to your inner teacher. Thank yourself for taking the time for yourself today. Namaste. Thanks everyone. So thanks for joining me on the porch for the last few weeks. Back to the hood for me. <laughs> but it's been nice nice to share the outdoors with you and hopefully you guys are getting out as well because I know you know we need we need some get out <laughs> sometimes <laughs> but it's good to see your faces and have an awesome rest of the day <laughs> <Bye, y 'all. laughs> take good care <laughs>